As urban sprawl continues to expand the wildland human interface, populations of wild pigs are increasingly encroaching upon the urban landscape. Research indicates that interactions between humans and wild pigs can lead to negative impacts including residential damages, vehicle collisions, disease transmissions, and in some cases, attacks on pets or humans. Part one of this series will explore the growing concern of wild pigs in urban and suburban areas. Well, we've had urban hogs in the Metroplex um, since the early 2000s when they started to, to really become a problem. Uh, this year, uh, 2016, we, we've had really good water, uh, lots of rain, and now every, all of the tributaries and lakes are full or over full. And so now we're having hogs that are pushing up into urban area, in the backyards, uh, golf courses that typically hadn't been a problem. So we're starting to see a, a pretty good problem this year. One of the biggest problems that feral swine cause to urban areas is probably the disease transmission uh, or the, the potential risk for disease transmission. Uh, especially where we're at right now, we've got a large lake that's uh, used by a lot of people. And so we've got those animals that are in the tributaries through their actions of finding food and, and rooting and tearing up ground uh, and wallowing. They may be uh, inadvertently introducing a, a disease or a pathogen into our waterway. Obviously they carry brucellosis, um, tularemia, giardia, leptospirosis, um, salmonella, E. coli, and those things are introduced into our waterways uh, and can be a potential risk. Because wild pigs cannot sweat, they wallow in order to cool themselves. They then deposit E. coli bacteria directly into surface water systems through defecation. One of the other problems we see is the damage that they do to yards. So we have economic damage uh, through the destruction of turf and flowers in our gardens. Uh, obviously irrigation systems that can be damaged. Fencing uh, here in the urban area, the properties that do have fencing can be damaged by their trying to come into the property. Another concern in urban areas is the direct interaction between wild pigs and companion animals or humans. While these animals are generally much more afraid of you than you are of them, it's a good idea to know what to do should you encounter a wild pig. If you encounter a feral hog in an urban area uh, at one of the parks or, or out at one of the lakes, give him the right away. Uh, most of the hogs aren't overtly aggressive. I haven't had that experience. <clears throat> the only time that I've had an experience of an aggression is when that animal is confined in a trap. Uh, gather the children if you have children with you and move off uh, to a safe location and let that animal have the right of way. Come back another day, it's not worth uh, taking a chance on something happen. It is a wild animal after all uh, and all bets are off sometimes, but just calmly pick up the kids and, and retreat, retreat to, to a safer location and, and let the hog have the right of way. Part two of this series will address what can be done to reduce the impacts of wild pigs in urban and suburban areas. For more information on wild pigs, their impacts, and how to effectively reduce populations, please visit our website at feralhogs.tamu.edu.